Hi, first graders. Today we are on knowledge to lesson four, chew, swallow, squeeze, and churn. So we're learning all about our body systems, this unit. Our first word is digestion. Say digestion. This is the bodily process by which food is broken down into a usable form. The next word is esophagus. Say esophagus. Esop esophagus is a muscular tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. And the last word is intestines. Say intestines. Intestines are organs connected to the stomach that continue the digestive process. Yum! Look at all these foods. I, Dr. Wellbody, the rhyming pediatrician, am feeling rather hungry. Are you? I think a chicken burrito would taste mighty good right about now. Healthy foods like chicken burritos, homemade pizza, apples, and carrots are extremely important to our bodies. We cannot live without food. Food is the fuel that gives us the energy we need to stay alive, to walk, to talk, to think, and to breathe. The energy from food helps us stay warm. When we use its energy, even when we are sleeping, foods help children grow as well. It helps us heal when we are hurt or sick. So how do our bodies process or digest the food we eat? Your digestive system makes this all happen. Let's find out how it works. Pretend that you just took a bite out of a cracker. What are you gonna do now? That's right, chew. And while your teeth are crushing and chomping on the cracker, a liquid called saliva is helping to soften the food in your mouth and make it even mushier. Does anyone know another name for saliva? It's spit. Once your food is good and mushy, it's time to swallow. When you do, the chewed up food goes into a tube that connects your mouth to your stomach. This tube is called your esophagus. It is about half as long as your arm and about as wide as your thumb. The food doesn't just slide down. There are muscles in your esophagus that squeeze your food along the way you squeeze toothpaste from a tube. From there, the food goes into your stomach. Do you know where your stomach is? If you point to a spot a little above your belly button and then move your hand a little more to the left, you can feel your rib bones. Your stomach is there, partly behind your ribs. Your stomach is like a big bag or a balloon. It expands or gets bigger as it fills with food. Powerful muscles in your stomach squeeze the food and churn it around like clothes in a washing machine. At the same time, stomach juices, a watery mixture made by your body, help turn the mushy food into liquid. Food stays in your stomach for about three or four hours. Digestion is happening while you work, play, and sleep. Every time you eat a meal, you swallow a little air. As your stomach churns the food, the air makes noises, sometimes called tummy rumblings. When the air passes back out through your mouth, Sometimes with a loud noise, it is called belching or burping. The liquid moves from your stomach a little bit at a time into a tube called the small intestine. Your small intestine is narrow, but it's very long, around 15 feet in all. Since you are probably around four feet tall, how does your intestine, more than three times longer than you, fit inside your body? The answer is that your intestine is all coiled or folded up inside of you, underneath your stomach. Food stays in the small intestine for about six hours. In the small intestine, all the good things from the liquid food get absorbed or taken in by your blood. The blood carries these nutrients and vitamins from the liquid food that's been digested around your body so they can give you energy, help you grow, and keep you healthy. But there are still some bits of food that aren't used up and are left behind in the small intestine. These leftover bits are called waste. The waste gets pushed into your large intestine. This is a tube like your small intestine, but it's shorter and wider. It is curled up like an upside down U around your small intestine. From there, the waste gets pushed out of your bottom 
when you go to the bathroom. It may take two days for the food to travel through your whole digestive system. And that is how digestion works. Here's my little rhyme about the digestive system. A healthy body needs good food. There really is no question. Your body gets the things it needs. Just leave it to digestion. The next time we get together, I'll help you find out all about the most important muscle in your body. One that works all the time, but never gets tired. All right, guys, you may go ahead and click on the Google form to answer the questions about today's listening and learning read aloud.